Today I'm going to show you how to quickly create work sets for your Revit projects using Dynamo. Just to give you a quick preview, we're going from a default setting to a more functional one. Hi and welcome to BIM Lounge. Work sets can be very useful for work sharing and performance reasons, but the reason why I find them extremely useful is for coordination reasons. Especially if you place your Revit links under specific work sets, you have the ability to uh, get a visual through the work sharing visualization tool. Now let's take a look at how to automate the process of creating work sets. Before we start, let's make sure that we're running on manual and that we have the parametric monkey package installed. And in my case, I like to work with the blank background. I would start from the last node and then work backwards. So in this case, we can get the work set create node and you see that the inputs are uh, the new work set names and then rename the two default work sets. Now for this exercise, I put together a quick list, just a sample list of work sets. I will start from using the two that are being renamed. And for this exercise, I'm just gonna use a simple list as a code block. But obviously, if you have a really long list of work sets, I would suggest you use um, the Excel input instead of the code block. And um, if you're needing to do that, let me know in the comments and I can show you how to do it. Now, let's start from the shared levels and grids. So we're going to rename that with the three. And then, for example, as a replacement for works at one, we can pick architectural interiors. And then the rest we can go ahead and copy these into the first code block which will create those new work sets so I will go ahead and paste them all and as far as syntax you'll need uh, obviously quotation marks but you may need a bracket in front of it because we're creating a list and comma and so on now once you're done listing your work sets you can go ahead and feed it to the first port and hit run. And as you can see, we created these new work sets and we renamed the existing ones. Now that you created your work sets, if you have an existing model, the next step would be to assign all these elements to their work sets. Now to automate this, I created a video that shows how to uh, bulk place all these elements on work sets using Dynamo. I'll put a link in the description. Now let me know if you have any questions about creating work sets in the comments below. And thanks for watching.